Hi, I'm just going to be going over my candle collection. So the first one, I have a single wick. This is Vanilla Patchouli. There are no notes on here, um, but as a single wick, this fills up my bathroom pretty nicely. I do enjoy it. I would definitely buy this in a full-size three wick candle. I just got Paris Cafe. The throw on this is a 10. The throw on this, I would say, is a 7 for being so small as well. I can't wait to try the 3-wick, uh, and I'll give you an update on what the throw is. But Paris Cafe, 10 out of 10. If this can be an 11 out of 10, it will be. Rich Roasted Coffee, Vanilla Cream, Sugar Brochet. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry. This one is delectable. Super clean burn as well. I'll open up this one with one hand. Oh, geez. Hold on a second. Sorry. I apologize. Super clean burn on that as well. Oh, wow. I just, I opened this one and you could, my room just filled up with that scent. Absolutely divine. Hot cocoa and cream. 10 out of 10 throw as well. Decadent milk. Chocolate. Fresh steamed milk. Mini marshmallows with essential oils. 10 out of 10. Holy moly. Clean burn um there's a little bit of salt on the side because i turn the candles to the side and the flame goes against it so that's the only reason why oh yeah that smells amazing wildberry jam donut first of all the iridescent packaging absolutely adore this one is also a 10 out of 10 throw sweet wildberry jam powdered donut brown sugar crumble with essential oils also a clean burn as well oh wow i will repurchase wildberry jam donut i will repurchase paris cafe and i will definitely repurchase hot cocoa and cream and vanilla patchouli i do like the strong scents lemon cake pop the throw on this is uh, i would say a four or a five the scent is beautiful though i just wish it was stronger um, there's a little bit of an uneven burn right here and so on the side, um, but that may have been because one of them, uh, um, blew out when the air turned on. This one's good. I would not repurchase this just because the throw isn't that strong, but my sister loves, um, lemon scents. Frosted citrus glaze, vanilla cake pop, sugar crystals with essential oils. Next one, infamous, berry waffle cone. Throw is 10 out of 10, honey. Holy moly. Sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, creamy vanilla with es uh, natural essential oils. Oh my God. Oh my God. That smells so decadent. Holy crap. Burn is really nice. Sitting on the side, that's because I turn the candle to the side to light it absolutely delicious would definitely repurchase that again white fiji sands this one is has a pretty good throw i would say it's like a seven out of ten the notes are fresh cut sugar cane white nectarine sandalwood with essential oils i don't think i would repurchase this again but it does smell really nice and it burns very nicely as well Ice blueberry biscotti. The throw on this, I would say, is about uh, 7.5 out of 10. Sugared blueberries, sweet vanilla icing, almond biscotti, brown sugar with essential oils. Burns really well. Um, when I... There's a little bit of sitting right there, but I think that's because to distinguish the fire, I just closed the lid, and I think that's why it has like that little marking right there um i don't think i'd purchase this again i'm not really fond of this smell i don't think it's a true ice blueberry biscotti smell and after my sister told me that it smells like um blueberry hookah i just can't get over that anymore next one spiced clementine the notes are fresh clove bud, cinnamon stick, clementine zest, ground sugar with essential oils. I'm sorry, ground ginger with essential oils. I literally cannot smell this. It burns nicely. On cold, I can smell it. But literally, oh my gosh, what the heck? But literally cannot smell this. It does look beautiful when it's burning in my room because it does have like this iridescent teal type of color in the back. So when my lights are off and I have like 
my Himalayan rock salt lamp lit. It does look absolutely divine in my room. The burn is nice. Um, a little bit of uneven burn on this side though, but again, that's probably because one of them went out um, when the air turned on. I would not repurchase this again, and it's a bummer. It is a bummer. I literally cannot smell that. Hello, honey. Strawberry pound cake. Yes, I would repurchase this. The throw is, I would say, a 9.5 out of 10. Almost 10 out of 10, really. Fresh strawberries. Golden shortcake with cream with essential oils. I would definitely repurchase this. The burn is beautiful on that. Look at that. Oh, delish. Okay, so this one, <laughs> I kind of tweaked a little bit. Sweet rosemary vanilla. I can't really smell it. Um, in my room, it's a pretty good flow, but I haven't done it in my living room, so I can't really give you an update on the throw, but for me, it's not that strong, I would say. I would say it's like a 6 out of 10 fresh rosemary, sweet vanilla cake, whipped frosting with essential oils. I have a rosemary um, bush in my uh, front yard, so I picked some and I just sprinkled them in here as the candle was burning. Oh God, it does smell beautiful right now though. This is a really, really beautiful smelling candle. It smells like you're whipping up a cake and you're gently sprinkling, sp sprinkling. You're gently sprinkling the rosemary uh, through the cake and folding the layers over and making a nice light uh, frosting. I absolutely love the smell. I'm gonna try it in my living room and give you guys an update. Um, <clears throat> next one is vanilla birch. I really cannot smell this only like if it's in my bathroom, I can smell it. The throat isn't that great. Maybe it's a bad batch because I've heard good things about this. White birch bark, Madagascar vanilla, which I love. Warm sandalwood with essential oils. I also have two of these in a concentrated room spray right here. We're super delish. <clears throat> Oops. The notes are white birch bark, I already went over the notes. Madagascar vanilla warm uh, sandalwood with essential oils. Burns nicely. Again, this is on the side. So I turn the candle to the side, but it does burn nicely. And then to distinguish the fire, I just put the lid on. <clears throat> Palo Santo. Oh, this smells like Burberry Woman. It smells so delicious. Oh my gosh. Palo Santo wood, warm amber, warm amber soft musk cream with essential oils Ugh, this is so oops that's coming off a little bit that's upsetting the packaging for these three are so pretty when they burn oh my god the light just shines through these little holes i absolutely love it but um the throw on this i would say is a six out of ten um i wish it was stronger because it smells so good. I would probably repurchase this again, honestly. The next one is whipped coffee. Um, this throw, I would say, is an 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. Uh, the notes are a shot of espresso, whip, uh, whipped sweet cream, pump of caramel syrup, sugar crystals with essential oils. It burns nicely. Again, I'm kind of messy with the candles, so sorry. Um, but it does smell really nice. I don't think I'd repurchase this again, though. Um, I would say the top candles that I love is Berry Waffle Cone, Paris Cafe, Hot Cocoa and Cream. These two are great as well. But yeah, these are my candles. I cannot wait for SAS. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go crazy. So yeah, short video. Let me know what candles you have, which ones you want to get in your collection, and which, can you please let me know? Also, cute lid, are you kidding me? Super cute lid. Um, let me know which ones have a strong throw that I should purchase because I'm so ready for it. Okay, bye.